Welcome back, everyone. We've got a story celebrating black history this morning. A West Philadelphia doll maker is inspiring young children through play. Wakisha Bailey speaks with a local designer about his national doll movement. When a child sees a doll that reflects their beauty back at them, there's something that happens. West Philadelphia native Mark Ruffin is making sure all little girls have a place in this world. He's the mastermind behind the inclusive doll collection, Black Dolls Matter. I got so many no's. Listen, can, can I make it brown? No. Can I make a black one? Black dolls don't sell. Ruffin proved that was far from the case. After exhibiting at several trade shows inside the Philadelphia Doll Museum, the designer saw there was a need and place for black and brown dolls. I'm going to answer the question for once and for all, black dolls matter. We were actually begging for, not begging, emphatically requesting that manufacturers be more inclusive in their offerings. I made a little doll t-shirt that said Black Dolls Matter. I would hashtag Black Dolls Matter on social media. Although Ruffin's passion is dolls, his first love was puppets. My mom taught me how to sew when I was four years old. My dad saw that I had an affinity for puppets. He bought my first simple puppet making books. Which years later led him to Sesame Street. I made tutus for Mr. Snuffleupagus to dance with the dance theater of Harlem. I've made what, Rasta wigs for Kermit the Frog. My greatest contribution to the character family of Sesame Street would be Mimi, which is Zoe's doll. After receiving two Daytime Emmy Awards and a six-year run with the Jim Henson Company, Ruffin eventually returned back to his dolls. Some are collector's items, like Princess Diana and the Madame Alexander collection. Others tell the story of legends like Aretha Franklin in the series Genius. I want to use these dolls to really uplift and empower and uh, inspire. Ruffin also wanted to make sure that we don't forget the evolution of dolls. So in his latest clothing line for dolls, it's an ode to 1865, when enslaved children were only allowed to play with topsy-turvy dolls like this. Topsy-turvy doll was black on one side and white on the other side. An enslaved child could not be seen nurturing a colored doll, so they would flip the doll over. The Black Dolls Matter collection reminds us to make good with our past, but live in the present, and to be optimistic about the future, where dolls champion our differences. If children see themselves as valued and loved, we'd have a changed world. Lakeisha Bailey, CBS Philadelphia. Well, CBS News Philadelphia is excited to bring you something new for the little ones as we celebrate black history. Join us for a special Storytime streaming hour. Our reporters and anchors are reading children's books by black authors. You can catch it every weekend in February on our streaming channel, Saturday mornings from 8 to 9 a.m. and Sundays from 7 to 8 p.m.